Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to film my US haul. This is going to be part one with makeup and skincare products and then part two is going to be fashion, stationery and others. So I'm so excited and let's just get on to the video. since I arrived here in the Philippines and I couldn't film because we've been renovating the condo so that's why I've been delaying this video but finally I am going to be filming and I'm so excited so let's just get started so I'm going to so let's just get started with the skincare the first product I got I've been trying this for almost a month now is the Kiehl's ultra facial cleanser so I'm a lazy person and I was looking for a facial cleanser that skips the step of makeup remover because like I just want to get over it and this facial cleanser takes out all my makeup. For the next product is also another facial cleanser but I use this when I need to exfoliate my skin, well my face. And it's the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Brightening and Exfoliating Daily Cleanser. I don't use this every day and yeah, I just use it when my skin is peeling from my derma and I need to exfoliate. Next, um, I also got the Ultra Facial Toner from Kiehl's but I left it in the US so my mom's gonna bring that and I, I was going to buy it here but like I have no money for that so I'm just gonna wait for my mom to like bring the toner here. And then next I got, I actually got three of this. I got the travel size, the medium size, and then this is the large size. Um, this is in, this is 155 ml. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I use this as a moisturizer. There's actually a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer in a bottle, but I prefer like creams. I've been looking for a moisturizer again. I'm lazy. So I don't want to reapply my moisturizer throughout the day. Yeah, I just got this and yeah, I don't need to reapply my moisturizer throughout the day because it keeps my face moisturized throughout the day. Yeah. And then next, I actually got two of this. So the next, so the other one is already in the skincare bucket for my sister and it's the Tatcha Water Cream. This one I also tried um, and yeah it's also nice. I think this is $68. It's very expensive. It works in the month. And then next I also showed this in my other vlog. It's the Tatcha Bestseller Set. So next let's go on to primer. I only got one primer and I actually got this from Marshalls and Marshalls is a place where they sell like discounted branded clothes, makeup, like toys, everything. They sell shoes, bags that are branded and I'm really not sure how they get it. I think they just buy it in a bulk when um, brands are on sale and then they resell it so maybe it's something like that. And I got this. It's the Too Faced Prime Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. I haven't tried this out. Um, it claims that it's a matte makeup primer comparable to the Benefit... What do you call it? The Benefit... Per Professional, yeah. It's like that beige silicone texture. So Next, I got two foundations. So the first foundation is from Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Foundation Stay In Place Makeup. This is like a holy grail of all YouTubers. This is super full coverage and I've tried this also. I wore it to a, a birthday party and yeah, it stayed on the whole night. I love it. It's super full coverage also. It doesn't really get cakey. So next, I got the Stila Stay All Day Cover Powder Finish Foundation and Cream Concealer. So this has a foundation and concealer in one. Next, I got three concealers. The first concealer is the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. Yeah, I heard this 
um, concealer is also very good. And then next, I finally got, I'm so excited for this, I finally got the Tarte High Performance Natural Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And I'm so excited. I got this in the shade Medium Sand. So next, I got the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've always wanted to get this concealer. It's it, 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 it has good reviews. I got the Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage Powder Foundation. I love the liquid formula of this. Um, I already tried this powder and I hate it. Um, next. It looks super cakey on you. I don't know, it just looks very odd on your face. You can't use it alone. It won't look good alone. So. So the next, on the other hand, this is Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. I love this powder so much. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't have like a cover for the holes inside. So you just see, just see the powder pouring out and yeah. Um, I really love this. It really gives you a blur finish. So next is, I love this product. This is the Beverly Hills Anastasia Contour Cream Palette in the shade Medium. So as you can see, it's very used already. I tried it in the US and I fell in love and I'm still using it. I used it today. Now I really love this product. My blush stays on all day. Next, I got... Next, I got a blush from Tom Ford. Ooh, she bougie. This is in the shade Wicked. Like, I really wanted a blush. I I was aiming to get the NARS Orgasm blush, but like, I came across the Tom Ford one and it kind of looks the same, so I got it anyways. And then, next, I also got another Tom Ford. This is the Soleil contouring compact. This is in the shade Afternooner. It just has a highlighter, a blush, and a contour, and it has the Tom Ford um, stamp. Next, I got the NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer. So This is in the shade Laguna. I really wanted a, another bronzer because I don't really have a lot of bronzers. I have a lot of blushes and highlight. I got the Butter Bronzer. I've been waiting two years for this bronzer. Two times my mom went to the US. I told her to get this bronzer for me, but like it would always be out of stock for some reason in Ulta. So I bought this one in Target and I'm so happy that I finally got it. Um, everyone raves about this bronzer and its drugstore. So I also said it in my drugstore holy grails that I wanted to buy this and yeah, I got this. It's in the shade Deep Bronzer. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, at Mitchell or whatever. I did a poll on um, what foundation to got. To got. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. To get, I made you guys choose between the Estee Lauder, this one, or the Lancome one, and this one won. I also, I also, I also, what was I gonna say again? I also did one for highlighters. I had four options and this one actually had like the least votes. The Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. So this is in the shade Brilliance. So the winner for that poll was this, the Becca Champagne Pop. I've always wanted this highlighter. It's a collaboration of Becca and Jaclyn Hill. This product is the one that created like the trend of blinding highlighters. Sis! Sis, I got the Morphe X Redman Baby Paradise Highlighter Palette and I'm so excited. So you got Redman at the back. I'm I'm fangirling, oh my god. Oh my god, the shades are so pretty and the shade names are so cute. And it also comes with a fat brush. It's so cute. It also says the Morphe X Bretman. Okay, next I got the Elf Rose Gold Sunset Palette eyeshadow palette, and it just looks like this. It's very neutral and full of browns. And I haven't used this yet, so I'm so excited to try this out. And then next I got the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. And the name of the palette is Ring the Alarm. 
Of course, the shades are neutral, pink, browns, because I just love those shades. And I'm such a warm toned girl. Okay, next um, is the Pixie Plus Dose Candy. Um, she's a YouTuber. Yeah, I got this um, from Marshalls. It's an eyeshadow palette. Oh, it's a multi usage palette. So, yeah. The thing is that all of the shades here are shimmery. So, I'm very confused with that. So, next is uh, the Pixie Plus. Heart Defensor Palette. This is such a cute palette and I love Heart. I watched her video about this collaboration and I really wanted to get it because um, there's also a shade. She's Filipino. She's a Filipino YouTuber that's based in America and there's a shade that says Philippines. So I'm really happy for that. Like, I don't know. I just really love um, Filipinos that have their own makeup um, collaborations because that's like my dream. And the next. I, oh my god, my, I'm like really feeling. It's the Tarte Adeline Morin Eye and Cheek Palette. And I'm so feeling. This has 9 eyeshadows, 1 highlighter, and 1 blush. Everyone has good reviews of this. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I posted about Pinice supporting Pinice because Adeline has like this um, branding about girls supporting girls. So I also wanted to do this post about Pinice supporting Pinice of all Filipino YouTubers that have makeup collabs so I bought all of their makeup and then Heart and Adeline like replied they liked and then, then they commented on the post so they're so nice okay I got the mascaras the Great Lash Clear Mascara and then I got the Great Lash Waterproof Hydrofuge Mascara this is black I also got the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara that's clear because of Breckman Roth, I've been into the, like the really natural makeup. First face fantasy FFF. He made me try these two products. He also used these two products. So yeah, I'm so excited. And then this is um, the Ardell Professional Natural Multi-Pack Lashes. All YouTubers rave about these lashes. It looks natural, but it also really looks extra. It looks like you're just wearing lash extensions. Next, we're going into beauty blenders and I have a dirty beauty blender right now. I used it earlier. It's the e.l.f. beauty blender. I love this so much. I I can do a whole face with this. If you guys want to see that challenge, a whole face using one beauty tool, I think I can do that. And then I just got my favorite extra beauty blender pro, the black one. This one is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, the skinny brow pencil. This is my first eyebrow product ever. I just repurchased it. This is in the shade dark brown. Next, I got the Patrick Star Matte the Glitter Pigment. This is in the shade Patrick Star. And this is just a rose gold loose glitter. And then next, I got the Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Kitten. I actually already have this, but I just wanted to purchase it again. So the first product is the Patrick Star MAC Collaboration. This is in the shade Edge to Edge. It's the lip liner. And it's just this mauve lip pencil. So the next is the Patrick Star X MAC. I love the packaging. This is the Christmas. This is the Christmas collection and I found it in Nordstrom Rack. This is like a brown mauve shade. So next I Hi. So ne So next I got the Sihins. So next I got the So next I got the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Back in Vogue and I've always wanted to buy this. Next, I got the MAC Lip Glass. I've always wanted to buy this also. This is in the shade Best Study and it's just a pink lip gloss and I love it. I've been using it non-stop. And then next, I'm so excited for this because I got a Tom Ford lipstick. This is the lip color matte and this is just so beautiful. This is in the shade First Time. And next, I'm also so excited for this Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick and lip liner kit. This is in the shade Candy K and I'm so excited because I've always wanted a Kylie lip kit. This is like a pinkish 
nude. Next, I got setting sprays. The first setting spray I got is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I love this. I like this. It really makes your face dewy and natural. And next, I got two Mario Vadescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I got the travel size and then I got the big one. I think this is the final product. Yeah, I'm really excited for this because this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And oh my god, I'm so excited because it's like the shh one. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at Mitch Adrainsome, my Twitter at Mitch Adrainsome, M I C H A D R A I N C E M. And yeah, see you on the next video. Bye! I'm too lazy to go close to the camera, so bye! When I get chills at night, I feel it deep inside without you.